a folklore of turtle calling, in Fiji, the custom of turtle calling, at the village of Namuana, on Kanavo is based on, an ancient legend, which is still passed on, from father to son, among the Fijian people of Kanavu, the story was told, in the Fiji times, turtles surface to the call, on 12th November, 1971. Fiji, a country in the South Pacific, is an archipelago, of approximately 330 islands. It's famed for, rugged landscapes, beaches, and coral reefs, with clear lagoons. Its major islands, Viti Levu and Vanu Levu, contain most of the population. Viti Levu, is home to the capital, Suva, a port city, with British colonial architecture. Fiji's geography, has made it, both a destination, and a crossroads for migrations, for many centuries. Fiji's culture is, a rich mosaic of, indigenous Fijian, Indo-Fijian, Asian and European traditions, comprising social polity, language, food. The British granted Fiji, independence in 1970. Kandavu is an island, in the Fijian archipelago. It is, one of the four largest islands, in this distant country. The main point is, the administrative center, Vunisi. The south side of the island of Kandavu, is protected by a barrier reef, Great Astrolabe Reef, which in good weather, is used for diving. The highest point, on the island of Kandavu, is Mount Nabuklavu some 805 meters. This is an extinct volcano, that is barely visible, from the tropical jungle, that it is covered. On the island of Kanavu, one of the larger islands of the Fiji group, and, some 50 miles by water, from the capital city of Suva, is the Fijian village of Namuana. Namuana nestles, at the foot of a beautiful bay adjacent to the government station, in Vunaisi Harbor. Here, the island of Kanavu, narrows down to a very isthmus, and by climbing the hill, behind Namuana village, one can stand on the saddle, and look out to the sea, to the south, and to the north. Legend says, that in the days gone by, the warriors of Kanavu, slid their canoes on rollers, up over the narrow neck of land, to save the long journey, around the east, and west of Kandavu Island. The women of Namuana village, still preserve a very strange ritual, that of calling turtles from the sea. If you visit Namuana village, to see the turtle calling, your schooner, anchors in a beautiful bay right under the cliffs of a rocky headland. You land on the beach, and then, either sit on the rocks under the bluffs, on the beach, or climb a rocky tract, to a point some 150, or 200 feet, up the rock face. Here you have a splendid view, and find assembled, all the maidens of the village of Namuana, singing a strange chant. As they chant, if you look very carefully, down into the water of the bay, you will see giant turtles rise, one by one, to lie on the surface, listening to the music. This is not a fairy tale, and actually does take place, and the water in this area, is forbidden for the fishing of turtles. Another interesting sideline to this performance, is that, if any member, of the nearby village of Nabukelavu is present, then the turtles will not rise to the surface of the bay, and turtle calling will have to be abandoned. As is usually the case, with such strange ceremonies and customs in Fiji, the turtle calling is, based on an ancient legend, still passed on from father to son, among the Fijian people of Kadavu. Many, many years ago, 
in the beautiful village of Namuona, there lived, a very lovely princess, called Tina Ikabaga, who was the wife, of the chief of Namuona village. Tina Ikabaga had, a charming daughter called, Rodilis, and the two women, often went fishing, on the reefs around their home. Once, Tina Ikabaga and Rodilis, went further afield than usual. They waded out on the submerged reefs, which jut out from the rocky headland, to the east of the bay, on which Namuana village is situated. They became, so engrossed with their fishing, that they did not notice, the stealthy approach of a great war canoe, filled with fishermen, from the nearby village of Nabukelavu. This village is situated, in the shadow of Mount Washington, the highest mountain, on Kandavu Island. Today, Mount Washington is, well known to mariners, because, there is a splendid lighthouse there, warning them, of the dangers, of the rocky coastline. Suddenly, the fishermen leapt from their canoe, and seized the two women, bound their hands, and feet with vines, tossed them, into the bottom of the canoe, and set off, in great haste for home. Although, the women pleaded, for their lives, the cruel warriors, from Nabukelavu, did not listen, to their entreaties. The gods of the sea, however were kind, and soon, a great storm arose, and the canoe, was tossed about, by the huge waves, which almost swamped it. As, the canoe was foundering in the sea, the fishermen were astounded, to notice, that, the two women, lying in the water, in the hold of the canoe, had suddenly changed into turtles, and, to save their own lives, the men seized them, and threw them, into the sea. As they slipped over, the side of the canoe, the weather changed, and there were no more waves. The Nabukelavu fishermen, continued their journey, back to their home village, and the two women, from Namuana, who had been, changed to turtles, lived on, in the waters of the bay. It is, their descendants today, who rise, when the maidens of their own village, sing songs to them, from the cliffs. The translation, of the strange song, which is chanted on such occasions, is as follows. The women of Namuana, are all dressed in mourning. Each carries, a sacred club. Each is tattooed, in a strange pattern. Do rise, to the surface, Rodilis, so that, we may look at you. Do rise, to the surface, Tina Ikabaga, so, we may also, look at you. The women of Namuana village, still preserve the strange ritual of calling turtles from the sea. All the maidens of the village, assemble on the rocks above the water, and begin to sing, a melodious chant. Slowly, one by one, giant turtles rise, to lie on the surface, in order to listen, to the strange chanting. You may doubt, the truth of the legend, but, you cannot doubt the fact, that the chanting of this strange song does, in fact lure the turtles, to the surface, of the blue waters of the bay, near, Namuana village, on the island of Kandavu.